Wait, who's directing the new Transformers movie? And you remember Stephen Cable Jr. Stephen he, Cable Jr. He directed Creed, Creed Two. Oh, okay. Look at the connections right there. Shit. Yeah. Wait, then who's directing Creed Three? Oh, look at that research real quick. Holy shit, Michael B. Jordan's directing. Oh yeah, I forgot he is the co he is directing his own film. That's what I remember. Yeah. Hold on, Xavier, have you seen have you seen this yet? Uh, have you have you seen have you seen the Transformers with the Beast Wars? Rise of the Beast? Ah, okay. All, what? Uh, all the added animals in it now? Yeah. Five minutes later. Yo! Yo guys! Five years, been five years five since years. we got our last Transformers movie, even though it didn't have Transformers in the title, yeah. Bumblebee still counts. And that uh, was yeah. a fantastic movie, bro. Yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's be real. Uh, Transformers has had a bumpy history for down to the last, last time. For sure. Yeah. All right, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit well, rich, let's but the first one okay. That's the biggest yeah, piece of dog shit yeah, that I have ever heard. But that's not to say I didn't watch the other movies, and the other movies, regardless of how much I hated them, they had awesome moments. Very awesome shit. Yeah. Alright. That's and, Michael Bay for you. Alright, Michael Bay. Pretty... I, I respect Michael Bay for his visual direction. And uh, and I like that he likes to keep things a little simple. Yeah, simple but with a lot of sometimes, emotions. But sometimes, hey, we gotta respect Michael Bay as a director. Without Michael Bay, we would never have a Will Smith. We would never have Martin Lawrence. He made them movie stars. Yeah. yeah. Bad boys. Yeah. Yeah. Bad boys. He took a risk, right? They told him that having two black, uh, black buddy cops was career suicide. They proved Hollywood wrong. Yep. Yeah, that was his middle finger. Middle finger, you already know. Alright, let's acknowledge that Steven Cable Jr. right now, he's a genius because he's bringing something that everybody from the early 2000s and 90s a thousand percent know Beast Wars. Yeah. Now, if anybody who's grew up with Beast Wars, especially if that's me, uh, I don't know about y'all too. Uh, you? Yeah, I'm familiar with Beast Wars. I'm somewhat familiar with it too. But yeah, go on, mention the it. Beast the Beast Wars was one of the was one of the all time storylines in and very important storylines in the Transformers universe. Right? It takes place usually it's supposed to take place during the dinosaur ages or like or like the uh, the cavemen times. But they but you know that's different. It's different now since it's looks like it's gonna be modern time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, the Transformers can stand on their own. They don't need humans. Yeah. But, um... Uh, and you can have, like, an entire movie set on Cybertron. Oh. Yeah. yeah. That, they, just did a two, two show, they just did two seasons of that in, in Netflix. Shit. Yeah, like, have, uh, have, an entire, oh, have an entire Transformers movie oh. set on Cybertron, or, and also have a story about the events that led up to the war. Mm -hmm. That was even, that would be crazy. That would have been a good what if. Alright, so uh let's but uh I trust Stephen Pickle do you? I trust the guy. Let's see what he's got up his sleeves. Alright? Let's see what he has to offer for this official teaser chair of Transformers Rise of the Beast. Hey Zoe, you wanna walk you wanna walk through it or do you wanna check this out? Alright, are you ready? Are you ready guys? Yes ready? sir. Three, two, two one. one. Oh, yeah. Hot shot, is that you? Oh shit. I love it already with the music. Is that my boy Anthony Ramos? For millions of years. Yeah, modern times. Uh, so New world, York. The world has transformed. <laughs> but somehow. Has some weak. Optimus Primal! Oh, 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 shit. Optimus Primal, let's go! Nope. He's not a prime. I'm not the one to fear, Prime. That's Prime. There is a darkness coming. Really? Who's he facing? That's right. That's right. Comes in the Bubble Bubble Number one, baby. Number one. Yo, this is fire. That shit just did 
And now <laughs> I can finally say I can finally credit Xavier in the video after like fucking over a year. Hold on, well, hold on. What the hell was what the hell was that final symbol? Uh, I, this, I recognize the Maximus, but I don't recognize the the second symbol. This is how you know I'm just a casual fan because they've been resting out no. every motherfucker's name, bro. I'm just I'm just here for the game. I'm just here for fuck. Well, the same thing. The thing is with the with these the Autobots. These, the version of these guys, mm -hmm. these guys are like straight from the from the original cartoons. Yeah. And if, if anybody has, if anybody says otherwise, they're lying. And their primal enemy are the Insecticons. Wait, but if, but if the Insecticons are involved, we need to have the Dinobots. <coughs> what? And we saw the Dinobots one time. And then and Michael Bay ruined. Michael Bay Actually, well, well, technically, he didn't really ruin them since they didn't really have a personality to begin with. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. They, they, they only think they were ruined, honestly. Well, they, they only... Hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. They I gotta get Xavier on the camera. What you no, gonna no, say? No, 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 no. Ah. What you gonna say? Bro, I said that they didn't really, they didn't really ruin them, bro. They didn't have personality. They weren't really talking. They were just there. <laughs> and they were as, like, side characters. Yeah, that is us. That is true. The yeah. those the the Dinobots, they're supposed to be the muscles. Yeah, they. Yeah. they but the thing is, what, the, the, the big problem is the big problem is they were only there for like five minutes. They, yeah, they didn't have enough screen time. They were heavily advertised. Yeah, yeah. Like back in 2014, Grimlock was on the freaking poster. On and, what, and he was only on screen for five minutes. Uh, Grimlock's a good character. Grimlock, he used to be intelligent, but then Shockwave forced the, the, the dino transforming on him, and he basically, all the, di the dino bots lost their minds. That's why they're only seen as muscles now, because they can't really think much. Is that a they monkey need, bot? And they need to be, uh, they no. need to be babysitting. Is, like is, is that a monkey bot? bot? That's not a monkey bot, that's Optimus Primal. That's Optimus Primal? They really have the same voice. Yeah, almost the same years. Just about. Well, but I think it looks like a monkey bro. So I gotta ask you guys this. Now that we got after coming from Bumblebee, which kind of somewhat confirms a semi reboot of the it's song. A, it's a it's it's song. Like, like is this made, a continuation of Bumblebee like or from they, the original Transformers? Type I like how they made Bumblebee look like an actual bee in his actual form. <laughs> right? Yeah, you don't see his uh, head. It looks like an insect. It did, <laughs> but uh, but now nah, the head shape, his body shape is kind of better. But is he gonna have his voice, or is he gonna have voice from the car radio? Let's be as the car radio. Bumblebee needs the car radio. But uh, let's be real, Michael Bay was never gonna actually reboot the whole thing, right? Michael Bay was actually gonna, he, was, he knew he was gonna throw in his little fingerprints in there. He was actually gonna, he's like, Joshua, yeah, I, yeah, I reboot me, we're keeping this. So this is definitely a continuation then, of the original five movies. But if Bumblebee didn't, if Bumblebee didn't make that clear, then I don't know what else is gonna make it clear. Given how this is taking place in modern time and not the dinosaur ages I or the caveman times. I gotta ask, depending on how the storyline's gonna be for like here, if we get a chance to see Megatron again, do you hope his character will be written well? 
mm. compared to the last time we yeah. saw him. His character was not really all that bad to begin with. Plus, he doesn't like people leaving. If they yeah. manage to bring him back, that is. Yeah. Plus, they'll keep killing off Omega Tron just to bring him back the next movie. That also goes for Transformers too. And I'm pretty sure, uh, even though he wasn't in Bumblebee, I'm pretty sure he'll be there somewhere. As for that symbol at the end, it makes me suspicious because I don't know anything about that final symbol. I know about the Maximal symbol. Oh. But I don't know about, but I don't know about that final symbol. That's a completely different from the original stories, and you know, because each uh, division of Autobots and Decepticons all have their own symbol. So you're saying it's something for for once that you're actually confused about. It's like, oh shit, okay. Because what were you? I didn't recognize that second symbol. Never recognize that symbol. It's not. You hear it here, you guys. It's not canon. The three Transformers fanboys don't know don't know anything about the new book. They're in the same box as me. Why are you keep making that noise? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's a zero for you, you already know. I'm a person in school, kiss some ass. <laughs> Gag. Well, you know, I gotta mention this because he was in the chair. And that's what you gotta get. Puntale! Puntale! Puti! Puti! So, yeah, what you, how do you think about Anthony Ramos being here? And joining the Transformers franchise. Can't go wrong with the guy, man. I man, love him. him in In The Heights, bro. He's a great ass musician, and I know he's gonna kick ass in an Iron Heart show. Yeah. But here, man, that's gonna be awesome. Wait, I mean, wait, wait. He's gonna need he's gonna need some good press, especially given his divorce lately. Or, yeah. Or, 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 no, I, but come on, he. He's, I haven't really paid too much here. mind to it. And I'm not, I don't. It doesn't really, matter. Does, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't really matter because because uh, if you're not because uh, come on, this shit like. Shit like that happens like all, it happens. Happens. all the times it's in Hollywood. It happens. You know, but it's not gonna make, make but, but me like, hate the yeah, guy. Yeah. He hasn't done anything racist or anything like shit. Unless, he does, some, unless he does something really, really bad, I'll cancel him then. But He's I no Kanye or Ezra. I, no, I'll, no, I'll say that. Hey, he definitely, he definitely ain't, ain't, ain't Kelly. Yeah. I will probably bleep out that name since I don't So know. let's just leave it off as it is. And, yeah. uh, and well, so, how do uh, you think about Anthony Ramos being here? He looks dope. I kind of want to watch it again though. Yeah, I, can't I can't wait to see what Anthony Ramos has in store in this movie. What was this... your favorite movie that had him starring in? Oh, he was in Godzilla, so, King of the Monsters, yeah, as a soldier. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but he was only there oh, briefly. The but he was there briefly, but, though. Yeah, but not in that much. Well, it looks like this might besides, be a first besides, for you besides, then. Besides, yeah. Ham besides Hamilton. Oh yeah, yeah, Hamilton. Have you seen the Hamilton play? Never seen it. You can watch it on Disney Plus some other time. Yeah, when I mean, you get a chance, and it's really good. Also, why was he cast for Blue Beetle? Oh yeah, he would have been perfect for that one. He should have been in the Blue Beetle movie. But, eh, we'll we'll see. Yeah, if anything, Netflix, you can pick him up later. <laughs> yeah, I guess. There's, uh, there's tons of like you know stories that's on Netflix right now that Anthony Ramos might need to be in. I mean, Wednesday, for Sunday. a teaser trailer, this is a pretty great teaser trailer. Uh, yeah, I kind of want to see it again. Well, you, go yeah. ahead if you want to, but for me, I'm just going to be quiet because I'm not a diehard fan like you guys, which makes me sad. Uh, you want to see it again? No, you yeah. Three, two, one. But I'll give it this. The visuals are on point. But why they have to play the ending of the trailer right here in the beginning? Like, come on, bro. On the Brody! I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh. Yo, Xavier, take my spot so you can have more to say because I really don't have much to say. Come on, Alright, I'll take your spot. Watch out. Alright, but that means I gotta contribute to the yeah, reaction. You know. Nigga, you gotta talk that shit. Or are you gonna talk that shit? Wait, what is this? Y'all be watching this? Yeah. 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 So you gotta time. figure out that fucking symbol, bro. You do it twice all the time. That's Optimus Prime. That's Optimus Prime. Prime. Bro, that's a gorilla. There is a darkness that's coming. That's a robot monkey, bro. Primal. Alright. Oh. B. That's the old car, right? Bumble B, sir. I know you recognize that guy, man. Eh? The one we reacted to the heights. I'm not driving. How do you feel that happened to you with your drive? But yeah, the, everybody wants to do this to the popo. -po. <laughs> yeah, he dead. Fuck the police. 
bro. I'll be like, this game. Whoa, well, look. See, they got cheetahs, birds. I see female robots. It wasn't female robots. Yeah, uh, yeah it was, was. But they were, they were playing a heavy oh. role. I ain't never seen a female robot. Now I see it. Why not? She got a pretty big robot. Never faced anything like this. Like that. What do they get? Powerful as a movie? Yeah, well, this is more technology. Use that shape. Use that shape. Look at that. That's a fucking monkey. Use their transform. Their transformation is part of their power. She's like every single person of color, scared shitless. Look, how did he get out of the car fast as shit? Because uh, he, he liked that, he threw him out. Because he threw him out, that's why. Well, the second so, symbol, bro, I think that definitely defines the beast. You really think so? Yeah. yeah then why won't they have their Optimus original symbol? Optimus Primo, that's Optimus Primo. Bro, that so, was the original so, symbol. No, no, but you said that there was a symbol you guys didn't What understand. I'm going to say third, is, I think it was the third. I need to watch yeah, this no, movie. Yeah, hold on, Asante. Cheat out. But uh, in order to explain it to you, I need, the thing is, what you need to know is that Optimus Prime is not the only Prime. There's Vector Prime, mm -hmm. there's Zeta Prime, there's, there's Prime. Amazon there's Prime, Prime. <laughs> and... <laughs> And, and uh, last but not least, Optimus Primal. Yeah, so he's the leader of the beast. Bro, so, what is he, the silverback robot monkey? <laughs> oh, nice to know, I'm not the only casual Transformers fan here. Yeah, he's what he, he's what he is. Now. You know that you, the cage you. I got a question uh, though. Where's Harry Stein for? Are we gonna see Harry again? No, no, no. Oh. Nah. He took place in the 80s. Really? Was that really confirmed to be in the past? So that's yes. basically the prologue yes, before it the anything? It was the 80s, yes. Mm. During a time where people actually love Transformers. It makes me upset hearing from a lot of Transform diehard Transformer movie fans that they're not going to see this movie, mainly because their favorite actor, played by the one and only Shia La La LaBeouf, sorry if I mm. fucked up his name, after he got killed off, they don't want, they refuse to see any more Transformer movies like because of that. Unconfirmed. I'm like... His death is not confirmed. I know. I know. They just oh, put it oh, out oh. there as a throwaway line. I know, I know what it is. I know what it is. They introduced like a hybrid Autobot. Mm. Oh. oh. The theory. The theory. Oh. Keep that in the notes. They have the, they have oh. the Optimus Prime logo. Found out they, that... They have the Autobots Prime. logo, but then they have the, the animal over it with things. Yeah, so you if you click on it, Click on it and go back. See? Okay, so that, that's, that's the that's, max. That's, that's maximum. That's maximum. And then that's the terror cards. Terror. Those dudes? But they, that's not the same symbol. The terror the terror con that's not even their symbol. That's crazy. Like the, it's still a good theory, it's here, bro. Yeah. That, I think that the that's the Decepticon. Yeah. That's and, the Decepticon face. Yeah. And then they cut it in half and they put beasts like a like a fangs and shit. So it looks like the Decepticons might have all uh, uh, transformations too as a hybrid or some shit. Right, yeah, that's a good one. It looks like Very the Decepticon good. logo though. It look, definitely looks like this is Decepticon. What are you gonna say, Ann? Sorry the sorry gotta cut you off, but what do you have yeah, to say? I found out that this this movie is set in the nineties. Bree? Yeah. So uh, it's a fall world to Bumblebee then. So we are we could see Harry Stop here. Okay. She'll be but she'll be like ten years older. Okay, that's fine. But uh hold on, but as I was saying, in the nineties that's where Beast Wars was was shining. Yeah. That was our that's our time. So that's yeah. why they're gonna have this be it in the nineties. That is the symbol. This is an unofficial symbol. Uh when I looked up when I looked up all the symbols Right. When I look up all the symbols, you take like a picture of that. Symbol, no, that is the no, he's right. He's right. Use it for the that video. No, 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 no. He's right. That's the that's the Terracon symbol. Look, he's right. That's the Terracon. He's right. That's the Terracon symbol. That's crazy. Look at it. The Insecticons are supposed are supposed to be there. The main the main enemies. Okay then, Ed and Xavier. I see y'all, bros. Okay. Well, I definitely know. I definitely shouldn't count you out for coming with us to see this movie, right, yeah. Xavier, bro? Yeah, yeah, all the when you look up all the uh, Transformers insignias, those guys never show up. Yeah, y'all really so die hard about this. 
I couldn't find a single in a single insignia that matches that one. So I'm guessing this one's a, a new guy. So yeah, yeah. but the but the uh, the tarot cards, the tarot cards are, must be brand new. No, they are brand new. They were they were created by Professor Sebastian or some shit like that. Good one. So this well, new they, Transformers well, that's, movie. That's facts. <laughs> this new Transformers movie just so happened to come out the same month as across the Spider Verse. Which movie we watched first? Professor Sebastian's Spider Verse. Oh, this one's coming close after, right? Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. But across the spider it literally comes out the sec <laughs> the first weekend of June. This comes out soon after. I really gotta see some stiff competition. I really gotta see this. You see this actress right here? Yeah. I really, I really can't wait to see what she has to be because she's clearly scared shitless. <laughs> I'd be scared shitless if I was in, if I was hanging out with Transformers. I mean, when was the last time we saw a character actually get scared of Transformers? All the time. Yeah, Pretty all the time. Old. Have you seen uh, what you don't what you don't know what Shia LaBeouf Of course was I do. Was screaming his ass off after he Which was, was almost, hilarious. That was, was memorable like after that. After he was sexually assaulted by the by the mini con. I know, right? <laughs> oh my like, god. Like, like, got Megan Fox jealous as shit. Choked his ass off and, like, and he started screaming like a bitch. And also in the third movie when when in the third film during that. Highway chase. The highway. <laughs> he got he bumblebee. <laughs> he, like, he, he just threw him out his through, head. He, through, like, bro, I'd be good. Who wouldn't be yeah. scared of that one? Everybody. Yeah. The only person who did who wasn't scared was that little girl from the, from the fifth movie. Oh. I, yeah. yeah. The fifth movie is not that memorable to me. Even yeah, though she, was up, but she was pretty memorable for me. Like, uh, like she's like the only one who was not scared. Well, I mean, I get it. She was, uh, she lived her entire life seeing yeah. these guys. But like, if those things are in front of my face, I'm not, I'm not fighting them. Yeah, the fifth movie is the worst. The one, one, one I'm most excited to see at all the Terracons is Switchblade. Switchblade, dude. He's a, he's a Terracon that, that was pre that was previously like a psycho, like a, like a serial killer. When I finish with those Cybertronian zombies, they'll wish they'd stay dead. This city is populous with Energon, the fuel of our armada. Wait, he made, that dude kind of made an appearance in the fifth movie, even though that was unmemorable. The dude comes out like, basically, like a mental patient with, with a thing on his mouth. And he says, okay, give me that guy. And they said, fuck, absolutely fucking not. He is, he is out of the question. No, there are limits. Okay, <laughs> after all that breakdown and all you nerds geeking out and shit, like, Shit, I guess you got every game rate this a 10 out of 10. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Yeah. Shit, so we're definitely there day one, or in this case day two after the Spider-Verse. That we haven't really had been much needed to get another Transformers film in so long. I don't care, it's been about half a decade. We need more Transformers. Yeah, yeah. actually, we need good. actually good Transformers movies. Bumblebee. And the first Transformers were the one, were yeah. some of the best ones. Yeah, yeah. Well, Bumblebee is a Transformers movie that everyone can enjoy and not feel embarrassed for actually enjoying. Okay, let's keep that idea going. Yeah, I know. Yeah, the franchise is, is almost death. died. Almost died. <laughs> it really got almost died. But then, fortunately, Bumblebee came in in 2018. It, it brought back faith to the diehard fans and even yeah. the new ones. It's on, yeah. As of now, the Transformers franchise is on the right track. Stay on it. Hasbro, this is on you. Yeah. Make sure you do the marketing right and please do not spoil the movie. That includes the Z Paramount. Yeah. Alright, let's, uh, keep, let's keep this energy going forward because there's a lot of stories to tell us, given how Michael Bay said he had over 17 scripts. Have you looked at any of the other spin-offs we're going to see? Um, not right now. There were, there, were, there were 14 stories written. So, uh, and there was some, some work to be stuff. done. And there was good stuff. Yeah. It's fucking crazy how Paramount has Sonic and Transformers for a franchise that is popularized for cinema. Anything Fuck they crazy. Needed, if anything they needed the most. Imagine they do the castle. Uh, let's end it here. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click that bell to get notified of the next video. Share this video to anyone who is also kicking out for Rise of the Beast Transformers and is definitely going to see it day one. Because yeah, me and Zanti right here are the casuals you already know. Brody, hi. Many guys. Yeah, I'm def definitely seeing...
Transformers and Goku. Yeah, I know he's gonna enjoy it. 100%. <laughs> Fuck yeah. And remember, Bumblebee is number one, baby. Fuck yeah, dude. No. Yeah.